I'm interested in the equipment used to load and unload tankers. So to start with, are we talking about a single piece of equipment here that can both load and unload? Uh, no, most of the time it's two types of equipment. It's uh, pump systems, stationary pump systems and mobile pump systems, as well as loading arms, unloading arms. So what kind of pumps would we find then in the uh, loading or unloading equipment? Various types of pumps. We, uh, one sees load, uh, rotary low pumps, gear pumps, even vacuum pumps, depending on application, which might be foodstuffs, chemicals, all, all sorts of products uh, transported in uh, tankers or silo trucks actually. And are these standard industry pumps or is there anything special about them? Uh, initially these were standard industry pumps, but over time it, these were developed into real mobile uh, pumps. Now you've been in this industry for uh, 25 years I believe. What kind of changes have you seen during that time? Uh, many, many changes like uh, the requirement for e easy cleanness, uh, cleaning uh, the pumps, uh, higher capacity, lower power consumption, lightweight. I mean, one wants to have maximum payload on a vehicle, so reduced weight of the pump is an advantage. Now I'm hoping you can give me a sense of scale. How important is the loading and unloading business to your company? For Garden Denver it's a very important sector. We actually uh, made a dedicated uh, business unit for the transport applications. So Garden Denver products on mobile applications. So this is a big business for you? It's a big, interesting and uh, challenging business for us, yes.